uh, incredible. The, you know, the fans, as soon as you walk out through the tunnel, you know, the fans are roaring. It's just, you know, incredible, incredible feeling. Another clean sheet for the defence. You know, people will look at the defence with yourself and David being there, maybe inexperienced, but the, all of you have, have caught really well. You must be very pleased with that. Oh, definitely. You know, David's doing really well. You know, he's been really composed and, you know, winning his 1v1s and winning his headers, and I think he's doing really well. And, you know, the fact that we've keep, kept three clean sheets in a row and, you know, from our debut till now is really good for both of us. In an attacking sense too, you must be very pleased with your, your own efforts. Yeah, definitely. You know, i just got to, got to try and make as much impact as I can for the team in the final third as I do defensively as well and try and create as many chances as I can. The manager spoke to us earlier and said how impressed he's been with both you and David. How much mm -hmm. confidence have you got from him in these last few weeks? Oh, incredible. You know, he's given us all the confidence and freedom to play our own game and he just told us, listen, go out and enjoy it and play a normal game. So, all in all, the managers really, really helped us. People say that there's, there's big pressures that come with playing here at mm -hmm. Ibrox. Did you feel that at all or was it something you were able to enjoy? Um, well, it's not. It's, it's a pressure to represent like a club like Rangers, obviously, and obviously playing at home. For us players, we need to make sure we perform and win the games because, you know, at the end of the day, we're playing for the fans, we're playing for the club and we've got to perform. Leading the, the back forward has been Danny Wilson. Mm -hmm. You know, having someone of, of his experience at the back and the goalkeeper West Fodringham, how important are they and did, did they talk you through the game? Oh incredible. You know, Danny's been you know, I've played with him when he was coming back from injuries with the under twenties and he's really, really helped me a lot and influenced me a lot, like communicating with me and you know, I really get along with him on the pitch and off the pitch as well. And Wes, same, you know, great guy, talks a lot and makes sure we're all organised, so we're really happy. Now, a massive game to come next Sunday against Celtic. Mm -hmm. How much are you looking forward to that game and, and potentially being involved there? Um, you know, it's just at the end of the day, I know it's a massive game and, you know, at the end of the day, i just got to prepare like I normally prepare for every game. i just got to keep on performing and training and do my best. And regardless whether you're involved or not, what have you learned from these last few weeks and these last few games? Oh, it's been incredible. You know, first team football is completely, you know, the next step up and you can't really go higher than this. And I think... All in all, it's just one of them where you got. To, I've got to take all the experience that I've took from this and just keep keep it on board throughout my career and just keep on progressing.